All right, we are here looking in Maple, and we're going to see some cool examples of parametric surfaces. Um, so if you remember, one of the things we talked about in the previous video was just this concept that parametric surfaces really has this advantage of being able to fairly simply describe surfaces that would be really difficult or not possible to describe using um, function notation. So using like an f of x, y equals z. So I just want to show us some cool examples. So this first one, all of these are, are three-dimensional surfaces, obviously, and they all have parameters u and v. So the first one is u sine u cosine v, and then u cosine u cosine v, and u sine v. And we'll see when we um, run this uh, animation of creating the graph of it, we get this really neat graph here. Um, and we can see that this indeed would not be... Um, a graph of that a function could represent since it does have that idea of curving kind of back in on itself. So for various X and Y values, there are multiple Z values. Um, so what we can see though is the parameterization for it was still relatively simple to come up with this kind of curling in on itself shape. Um, looking at a couple others, so like the second one, you can read the parameterization again, fairly simple parameterization, but when we run it, we get a pretty cool result. So this one's almost kind of like a um, helix, except that it has some depth to it. So it's kind of like a noodle. Um, so again, not a function. We can see lots of times that we've got multiple Z values for various X and Y values. Um, and yet with parameterized surfaces, we're able to describe it pretty clearly. And then this last one I want to show you is one of my favorite ones, where what we get when we um, graph this parameterized surface is, this is what's called a Mobius strip. So possibly you've heard of that before. Uh, but what we get there with this Mobius strip is this idea that it's a surface that has um, it's in three-dimensional space, but it only has one side and one edge, which is kind of cool. So if you do try and trace one of the sides, you know, we come around here and then we go down into the middle of it. And when we pick that up on um, this side, when we pick up that dark blue part, then we come back over here um, and end up coming around over to the backside of where we were on the other one. So we kind of come around this way and up and in and then back over the top and then back around. And um, we can see that there's only one edge and one surface, which is pretty cool. Um, so again, though, a very simple parameterization to come up with this um, complicated surface. So then what we're going to be able to do is find different things about these surfaces by using the parametrized um, form of them versus trying to represent it in something like rectangular coordinates or polar coordinates or something like that.